I'm Ed DeVoid with Xavier University, and this is our Eco Takeout story. At Xavier, our culture has always been to allow takeouts to go from the all-you-can-eat dining program. In 2009, when I first got here, we were using about three to 400 styrofoam containers every single day and decided that maybe there was a, an alternative. We looked at returnable containers and we are now fully engaged in the eco takeout container. We used 4,000 last year alone where we uh, were able to have every student who wanted it to go gets a container and they return it for either a new container that's fully washed or a card so they can bring the card back later. We chose to use cards um, as opposed to tokens or any, I guess any other method. Actually, it's a form of advertising. It's a great program. You're gonna see them walking behind me all the time. It's not staged, this is Monday and there's no control on Monday, we just moved. So the culture actually changed overnight from to go and throw away to uh, returnable. When we began the program, we started by um, making people aware of what we were throwing away. A 10 by 12 wall stacked up with styrofoam, it was one day's worth of containers. The initial reaction to the idea of switching to returnable actually surprised me. Um, I figured that our students are a little bit more high maintenance than they apparently are. Um, they actually embraced the idea uh, and immediately, without question, were able to swap over to the eco container. It worked fabulously. You know, back in 09, we started to look at these things and, and you always do um, an analysis on how many throwaways do I have to replace? Well, it was less than 10 to buy a new box. So we looked at that at the big picture and then we replaced $30,000 worth of styrofoam. Year one, our first full year, we replaced $30,000 worth of styrofoam. I did spend 16,000 on the boxes, but the prior year, our paper cost was 46. There's 30, very simple. We were able to reduce the amount coming in. I get one delivery a year of the boxes instead of you know half a truckload of styrofoam, because we all know that how much space that takes up. Not only coming in, but then again going out. So in the fall, we serve 5,000 meals a day and we only take out about three yards of waste a day. Compared to way back you know, in 09, we were hauling out a compactor four times the size as the thing we have out back now for cardboard. So we've, it's innumerable. You can always argue, well, we're gonna use a lot more water, gonna use a lot more labor. It's still a plate. Um, it still takes up the space of one plate going through the dish machine, the same amount of water. So it's a, we're able to mix the boxes in right with the plates. No real difference. As well as silverware and all of that all goes through on the flight machine. And I suppose if you only had a rack machine, um, you could actually set them up separately. That was never a problem, getting them through there and making sure that they're, they've been sanitized. Um, that's part, probably the easiest part. Uh, the health department has seen our eco takeouts in action and we've had no issues. Um, they're drying fine. We, we have them on a, on a uh, speed rack in the back. Actually, we've got two stages. We have one and there is a drying agent. Uh, we have that on it, but we also have a blower on the back of the machine. It actually blows it dry so that they do stay dry. And then they come out and sit out here for the students to get. You know, a lot of people have asked, well, you know, what's it made out of and, you know, is there any kind of residual? And, well, first thing I always say, where do you think the styrofoam has been? And then they kind of sit back and go like, ooh, you're right. But there's no BPA um, in that plastic. It's a five and they hold up extremely well. The logo washes off before the container actually breaks and the logos on there are pretty darn good. So. It's pretty amazing. And actually, we don't have stains, we don't have any melting, um, because I know they all put them in microwaves. The only time we, we recycle them is when they've broken the tab off, slid down the hill with it, you know, sitting on them or something. Again, if I've got my 10 times out, use out of it, I'm all set. One of the big selling things um, at, at first for me was that this 
plastic is, is dense enough and it's heavy enough that it actually keeps the hot food hotter. Everybody remembers the uh, H1N1 epidemic. We were delivering meals to the students all the time. Used to use the flimsy styrofoam. Every 10 meals going out, four or five of them were coming back because someone had dumped them. This thing's solid, you can pile them up and they stayed hot. And that was what the students were telling us is that it was staying hotter in the plastic than they are in the styrene. The improvement this year, they're a lot more leak proof. And I've never had students come back going like, oh, look at me, I'm all covered with stuff because it slipped out. Not a one. And they can figure out how to mess themselves up better than anybody. Of course, our first two years, 2009-2010, was our inaugural years. Now it's part of what Xavier does. When high school students come through here and, and they do tours, every time they stop through here, the eco-container is mentioned because it is a big deal. And I still have 2,000 boxes sitting in the back that we haven't opened, which means that the savings we were looking for at the beginning are now multiplying um, because now I'm not even having to buy as many boxes. There's an out losing them. My recommendation is to get over the 1,001 reasons why not to try it. Um, you've got to just jump on board, you're going to save money, you're going to have a happier customer, and really the worst of it is, is you have to come up with a little bit of logistics. So how do you get your retail person to buy into it? You know what? You just got to do it. Just do it.